focus of this video is fabricating an anti-claw orthosis, otherwise called a hand finger orthosis for ring finger to small finger MCP extension restriction. Following this video, viewers should be able to describe the factors that contribute to claw posturing, select appropriate materials required to fabricate this orthosis, and develop a step-by-step -step plan to fabricate the anti-claw orthosis. Ulnar nerve palsy can stem from many different causes, such as trauma, laceration, or compression. Most commonly, this occurs at the cubital tunnel near the elbow, which is the second most common nerve compression syndrome. Due to weakness in the intrinsic muscles responsible for MP flexion and digit extension, unopposed antagonist muscles such as the long extensor muscles lead to a commonly seen posture of MP joint hyperextension with a flexed PIP and DIP joint, most commonly in the fourth and fifth finger. As a result, patients may have difficulties with functional grasp due to the weakened musculature and possible atrophy of the hypothenar muscles, as well as difficulties adducting and abducting the fingers. Materials that we need to fabricate this orthosis include Orphicast, which here we're using the 6 cm in width. We're also going to need scissors and a method to apply heat to the material. Alternatively, you could use a thermoplastic material and you may also opt to have a marker or a pen handy so that you can mark off any places that we'll need to trim later on. The first step is to cut a piece of the thermoplastic that would be long enough to wrap around the patient's hand twice. So here I'm just testing that it's long enough. This is a shortened clip for timing purposes, but next we need to heat our material by applying the heat gun until the material curls up in one direction and we flip it over and heat the opposite side. The longer that we apply the heat, the more working time that we'll have with the material. Once the material is heated, we fold it in half lengthwise and we pinch it together so that it adheres to itself. As a result, the material is a little bit thinner, but also provides enough support to prevent hyperextension at the MCP joint. Next, the orthosis is fitted to the patient by starting on the dorsal aspect of the ring and small finger. The material should be draped over the fingers about at its halfway point. Pieces of the material are crossed at the base of the finger near the distal palmar crease and brought back around to the dorsal side of the hand. The material should pass through the web space where the thumb and the index finger meet and anchor on the dorsum of the hand. Once anchored, you should make note of any potential areas that could be uncomfortable for the patient or could be restricting movement. We can trim these areas as well as round the edges while we make the finishing touches to the orthosis. The material can be reheated and reformed to the patient in order to create contours between the digits as well as the distal palmar crease, first web space, and ensure that the joints can move freely. Thank you.